I had to come here to record to get away from you guys because it's it's plagiarism and copyright if, if your sound is playing because somebody else has already done that. So, anyway, this is going to be my vlog for the day. The day is really dark and it's rainy day and I was worried that we wouldn't get out and run early enough. I need to brush my hair. Oh, well. You can see me gradually starting to fall apart. And so that's what I'm doing. Anyway, the idea was Mary woke me up at like 6 o'clock. No, she told me, please wake me up at 6 o'clock because she wanted to go try out her new helmet. She got a helmet at school for safety week or something. I don't know what she did or how she begged and pleaded she does that she what if she wants something she gets it somehow anyway so i went at six o'clock i woke up and i was getting ready to go out and go running in i go up and get her and she goes it's too cold it's too dark i changed my mind i don't want to go so i went to check my phone but it was the battery was dead because the chargers on well my my entire wallet is gone dead it's funny how when things break in his mind, they never get fixed. So I don't figure it'll ever get fixed. Anyway, but yet he says, uh, I'm not even going to go into things. Anyway, so then Mary says, she, I, well, I, I wouldn't charge my phone in a different wall. And we saw that sunrise at 720. So I was like, well, we'll wait until dad wakes up because he goes to work. So we waited, and I went over and got the van, and I says, come on, we need to go. And she says she didn't want to go. So now I was like, okay, I see what's going on here. You are not going to get the choice. That is what we do. So she, when she started running, then, then she decided it wasn't so bad. And although she wanted to ride her bike, and we went over, and I picked up her bike and put it in the van, then she didn't want her bike because it's a little kid's bike. Okay, so now she needs a new bike. Um, she probably does admittedly. She is a lot taller, and her knees probably hit the handlebars. So we'll see. Anyway, then um, we went running, and we came back, and I was I saw a picture of my little niece. It was my sister's daughter, and she had crazy hair, so I made a Beethoven wig. And but when I tried to hunt, it looked like. Mary says I look like an old grandma, and I thought it looked more like Albert Einstein because I wanted the hair to be a little crazy, and on accident, I got it too crazy, but I didn't do, I was gonna, like, you know how you take the strands of yarn and you brush them out and make it look like hair? I was gonna do that, but I don't even have to. There's so much just going everywhere. Maybe I should go get it really quick. Try not to record your recording. Okay. Well, can you see how it's really crazy? Anyway, and I tried kind of patting it down and stuff. And I was like, oh, so that's what, why Einstein had crazy hair of my hair. Because I never brush my hair or do anything either. I just get up and go and do my stuff. And by the end of the day, I usually look fine. It's just from sleeping on my hair. And it looks a little messed up in the back. But how messy can your hair get when it's just a simple bob, huh? Anyway, and then when I was looking at other stuff on Instagram, I saw Mary had drawn a picture of a sh shaman, which is a Pokemon that my oldest daughter really likes. So, and then I was like, oh, I can make a shaman wig. And Mary's determined now she's going to be Pikachu. Because we made that costume a long time ago. And I'm going to wear the shaman wig and be a shaman. Then we'll match. And that's a pretty good idea, actually. Because that way I won't have to have any costume. I'll just put that wig on. And what I'm going to do is have it be like green hair. Like green wig. With a pink flower and some yellow yellow dots. I don't know what the yellow dots are, but Mary's drawing has yellow dots, so I'm not a really visual person anyway, so 
Anyway, that was our day for today. And that's all I had to say. I'm, I need to go work on that a couple of hats. And I want to finish writing a song that I started. And I'm not done learning languages. I can pretty much understand a language now that I didn't before by listening to it. But I can't speak it. Then again, I just have an ease with understanding languages. When people speak another language, I have to remind myself, wait, I don't understand that language. But it was funny. Let me tell you a really quick funny story just because it is kind of funny. Starts after five minutes and a half. Five and a half minutes, okay. The story was that when I was a little kid, I was watching a Muppet movie. Muppets in Man Take Manhattan or something. I don't know what it was, but in the movie, somehow they ended up in England or London or somewhere. And somebody came up and was speaking to them, and they had an English accent. I thought it was a foreign language, and I could understand a foreign language. Or maybe it's Irish or something. But it was it was a different accent anyway. And I, I got so excited. I was babysitting at the time, but so there was nobody to tell. But when I got home, I was so excited to tell everyone. No one really listened because it's just another one of Melissa's stories. Anyway, but I thought, oh, I can understand other languages because, and I can speak. And I would try saying the words that they say. And I was like, that's in another country. So I was like, I can understand languages in another country and I can speak another language now. That's funny because they speak the same language we do and they just have a different dialect. Ironically, Joseph's teacher asked me what country I was from. No, she didn't. She didn't say that. I was confusing what some, but a couple of people asked me in college what country I was from. And then what, that was at Ole Miss. When I was at the community college, people asked me if I was from France. And I'm like, no. Anyway, because at that time, I really disliked France. I'm just slowly accepting maybe it's okay. But up to then, I'd really, really, really disliked France altogether. But my brother lived in France for a number of years. Bordeaux, France, and another, my mom was an exchange student in Belgium, and she spoke French, and another brother lived in Switzerland, and he was, he spoke French, and I took, I was taking French, I started taking French in, in high school, but then after about a year, I quit, and I took Spanish, and in college, I took German, anyway, it's interesting, so what was I talking about, <laughs> who knows, my brain is scattered,